Hi, this is Russ Hardy with Field Peace Instruments, and I'm going to show you the brand new S-Man 300 Series and the S-Man 400 Series. What I got in my hand is the S-Man 360. This is a direct replacement for the S-Man 3 that a lot of you are maybe familiar with. And uh, what we did is we listened to a bunch of feedback from the field and just tried to improve every last inch of this thing. We made it more rugged internally and externally and also added some features and cleaned up the usability. The most noticeable difference that you'll see is this display. So what we did is we combined three modes of the S-Man 3 and put it into one mode on the S-Man 300s. So you'll first see that we got the pressures on the top line. Uh, we got the superheat and subcooling uh, on the middle line, and then we got VSAT and LSAT on the bottom line. And that just goes for the left side is for the low side, and the right side is for the high side. Now what we also have here is down the middle column is we have the refrigerant that you're using, the uh, target superheat mode, and that's the only extra mode that you have to ever have to go into. Everything else that it's measuring is just displayed right here. Then we got suction line temperature and liquid line temperature, and liquid line temperature would be for the right side, and the uh, suction line temperature would be for the low side. And so that's just the whole display, so you can see everything. Now the only other mode, there's two other modes. The other one is target superheat, and this is for your indoor wet bulb and outdoor dry bulb. These either can be entered manually or measured with the included thermocouples, so however you want to do it. But in this case, I put 60 degrees in for the indoor wet bulb and 80 degrees in uh, for the outdoor dry bulb, and it will calculate a target superheat of 8.7. This is for getting target superheats for fixed restrictor systems. Now, another thing you'll notice is the power button. This is a power button and backlight, so you saw me just press it and the light goes off, or the light goes back on, or hold it to turn it off. Now, going over the rest of the buttons, let's go ahead and get that backlight on. We got the refrigerants. These are still in order of the most common ones, so you get R R22 and R and R410A right next to each other, as well as 134A and 404. There is 41 other refrigerants built in, and as refrigerants get added, you will be able to download off of fieldpiece.com and update your S-Mans in, you know, at the comfort of your own home. Uh, the rest of the buttons we got enter. This would be for various things, mostly for entering the target superheat and just enter it on in. Uh, or using the alarm function. This also has a micron gauge built in, uh, so I can set the alarm on it. And uh, so, yeah, the alarm, I can set the low alarm and the high alarm. Now, what will happen is when this actually starts pulling in a vacuum, it will automatically go into vacuum mode and display the microns. Uh, let's see, what else we got? You got units, if you want to change in some other units, you just press that and you can select what units you want. And I'll just go ahead and enter that. Get out of that mode. I don't want to go through the whole thing and select all the units because you can you can customize it to whatever units you want. A lot of international people have different preferences. And uh, then we got the target super. We, we still have the atmospheric pressure and the uh, pressure calibration that you can do with a bottle of refrigerant and uh, measuring the temperature of that bottle. So you can calibrate it in the field, both just zeroing it out and actually calibrating it to a known pressure. So that's basically the basics of the SC360. It still comes with uh, two pipe clamps, two uh, thermocouples, one for wet bulb and one for dry bulb, and a padded case. So uh, all the accessories, you can find all, all the details on fieldpiece.com. All right, now moving on to the S-Man 400 series. I got the S-Man 460 in my hands. This is the wireless four-port manifold, and so that is the major difference between the S-Man 300s and the 400s. Is this one is wireless, and it has an extra fourth port. This is a large vacuum port, so you can pull down your vacuum quicker and just have a valve on every port to close off or open as you please. And then uh, what I want to show you is this has the exact same display as the S-Man 300. What I do want to show you is the uh, target superheat uh, mode. This one has, I can send a wireless measurement uh, directly to the S-Man, so I got a default measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync up our transmitter here. So I got the uh, a transmitter hooked up, turn it on, hooked up to wet bulb. This is our ARH5 and it measures a wet bulb with a thermistor like that. So what I'm going to do is sync this combo 
to the S Man. So what I can do is put this up in the up in the attic with the air conditioner out in the garage or wherever it, wherever it is, and send a wet, uh, wet bulb measurement outside. So let's just go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to press sync on here. You'll see it searching. I'm going to press sync on my transmitter, and you'll see that pop up in just a couple seconds. There we go. I got a 60.9 degrees of wet bulb. Then what I can do is I either, for this one, I can either enter a wet bulb wirelessly, exactly the same way I did it with uh, this transmitter. I would just use a separate transmitter and a separate head and get an outdoor measurement. Or I can do it manually, which is super convenient because you may have something that can measure uh, temperature real easily. So how you do that is you hold the enter button and you'll get the digits blinking. And yeah, oh, not that high. Then I can uh, adjust this as I need. So let's say it's 85 degrees outside and 84 degrees outside. And then it'll just automatically calculate my target superheat. Now you'll notice that it's live as this number is slightly adjusting because it is a live wireless measurement. This number will also adjust slightly. So that's what's real nice about having the wet bulb uh, wireless like that. As you can see it live, if it, something does change in the system, you're going to know and it's going to adjust properly. Now this target superheat is for fixed restrictor systems to tell you what your superheat is supposed to be. So for example, if it's 60, if I got a 60.7 indoor wet bulb along with an 85 degree outdoor ambient temperature or dry bulb, uh, I would get a 7 degrees of superheat. And that's that. So that is the S-Man 400 series. Now both of these come